Hi, my name's Ali Sanchez. I'm a traditional herbalist practicing for my clinic in the beautiful Blue Mountains just outside of Sydney. And today we're going to be talking about hydrangea. And when I think of the herb hydrangea, I think of hydra, I think of water, like our water vessels, like the kidney and the bladder. And hydrangea actually has a long history for its use with kidney disease. Now, one of these things that we might see um, in clinic is uh, kidney stones or people predisposed to kidney stones. Now, when you're treating people with kidney stones, it really is important to make sure that they are having some sort of scans being done, that there is a physician on hand that is monitoring um, their treatment. What hydrangea can do, it it, uh, has the compounds of calcium, soft, sulfur magnesium and phosphorus and these compounds can help to break down those um, calcium based stones in the kidneys and also in the gallbladder it's a real softening effect and when i use um, hydrangea i often use it more um, for prevention for the people who are predisposed to these stones and i'll put in herbs like horsetail um, corn silk marshmallow so that if anything is passed that is passed with the least amount of discomfort and may Maybe no discomfort at all. Now, also, um, apart from the kidneys, it's also great for prostate inflammation as well. Again, feeding into that sort of um, hydrangea, that fluid sort of um, organs. Um, for the gallbladder, I've used a hydrangea in the clinic for gallbladder as well. Again, for the people who are predisposed to gallbladder stones, or they might have gallbladder stones that um, they want to shift, hydrangea. And I'll, again, I'll use that with horsetail. And I might even put in some of the digestive herbs like gentle or support the liver as we all know the gallbladder and liver work closely together so I might put in something like dandelion and emotionally hydrangea well Dorothy Hall used to call it the messy divorce herb because it's um, around the gallbladder it can be um, tied in with like regret and bitterness you know those people that you know really hold on to um, past relationships and just have trouble letting go And when we look emotionally um, with the kidneys as well, the kidneys are associated with fear. So you can see the thread between the gallbladder and the kidney. And that people like this, you know, when they hold on to their bitterness or their resentment, that there's a hardening there. So we think of the stones and that hardening. So we're trying to soften up these people to help them, you know, to let go, not only uh, emotionally, but also physically. So you can see how hydrangea has not only such a long history in herbal medicine, but it really is a herb that is just as useful today. So if you don't already have hydrangea on your shelves in your clinic, then I really do encourage you that next time you place your order with a herbal extract company, then you put hydrangea on your list. Thanks for watching and we'll talk again soon. Bye.